again, everybody. It's Maggie, Makeup by Margaret, Margaret Madness, whatever you want to call me. I guess this is my intro now. Um, I always say it. I don't know why. Um, but yes, I'm back. We're doing another YouTube video. I don't know why I did that either. Um, I feel like I've been gone for a really long time, but it's really only been like a week. Um, Last week was my finals week, and now I actually have graduated from college in the middle of a pandemic. Ooh, okay. Um, so yeah, that's what's um, been happening with me. I just, I didn't really have a lot of work. I just had like a lot of things going on. So I was like, I'm just gonna take the week off. I'm not gonna post on Instagram. I'm not gonna really do anything. And I'm still kinda in that phase. Like I really don't know what I'm doing. I know we talked last time, but I still don't really know. Yeah, well, yeah, that's all I gotta say right now. I don't really know like what to say. But anyways, we're doing another little review video today, trying out some product. I have this Milani Screen Clean Foundation. We're gonna try this guy out today. Um, so yeah, this one's supposed to be a natural finish foundation, digital blue light filter. I don't know, the packaging was just like so, like appealing to me that I just was like, ooh. Um, but I've had this guy for a while, just haven't tried it, but it is the newest foundation from Milani. And everyone seems to be liking my product review videos right now. Hello to all my new little friends um, who have been watching. So yeah, we're gonna try this. Um, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than um, the cover effects video, um, just because it was really long and the shorter videos seem to be more like entertaining for everyone and easier for me to do. So <laughs> we're gonna do this today. I am going to do, I think a little bit of a simpler look today because it is already 5 p.m. pretty much. And again, I'm still feeling kind of weird. I don't know, but um, I'm gonna try this guy today, but I'm gonna try it with my favorite um, primer instead of trying like multiple different primers, multiple different ways to wear it, I'm actually gonna try it with my favorite primer combo. So we're gonna do the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer and I'm also gonna do the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's really dirty. Poreless Putty Primer. <laughs> um, I usually just do this one like on the outer perimeter of my face and the e.l.f. just right on my nose right here. And I'm going to use a sponge on one side, a brush on the other, see what it does. Maybe I'll decide halfway through to just do one or the other. And I'm gonna do a little middle glam. Okay, so let's get our groove on. I'm gonna do this ordinary one first. I feel like I haven't done makeup in literally so long. Um, I don't know, I can't explain why, but I just had to have a little moment to myself, I guess. So this is the only place I really put the e.l.f. primer. So I'm gonna try, I've never done this before, to do half my face with a sponge and the other half with a brush. Um, I have the A30 from Anastasia right here. I really love this brush. And yeah, I'm kind of nervous about it because I think it's gonna be two different finishes on my face. Um, but yes, this is the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation, digital blue light filter again. And I got 120 Warm Nude. Um, yeah, I just picked out online, so let's hope it works. I'm usually pretty good at picking online. And it's a luminous natural skin finish, buildable light to medium coverage, so it's gonna be a little light and long wear. I also, of course, pulled up the website, and we're gonna see what it says. It says, you're on your phone 24 seven, we're not mad at you, but your skin might be because the blue light coming from your devices could be damaging, could be doing some serious damage. Oh, wow, it's a big paragraph. Level up your skin's digital defense with Milani's new Screen Queen Foundation, created to give you wake up like, woke up like this, effortless, perfected skin. This fillable light to medium coverage foundation blends seamlessly and blurs imperfections with an even luminous natural skin finish. <laughs> Made with digital blue light filter technology, which is trademarked. Uh, the first of its kind formula helps fight the signs of digital damage, dullness, discoloration, and hyperpigmentation to keep your skin on point no matter how much screen time you clock. You're knocking me out with all the, all the claims. 
Also tells you how to apply. When you first get your screen clean foundation, press on the pump a couple of times to prime the pump until you hear a click. Oh, I mean, it clicked immediately. Oh, Jesus. Start by applying foundation in the center of the face and blend outward with foundation brush, beauty sponge, or fingers. Build coverage as desired. Okay, so I usually like luminous finish foundations. I really like Milani as a brand in general. Um, I'm okay with like a little bit of a lesser coverage. That's fine with me. Yeah, they have a lot of shades, which is great. I'm gonna start with two pumps, I think. So it's said to start in the center of my face. I usually dab around and like apply all the product where I need it. I think this color may actually be a little too light for me, which is shocking because usually I can wear some of the lightest foundations. It's applying really nice. I mean, it blends out really quick, but I think that's because there's not a lot to it to begin with. So now I got on the brush and we're gonna start in the middle, like it said. And I feel like the brush literally just ate all this. I totally thought the brush was gonna be like way too full coverage in comparison to this side with the sponge. That's just usually how it is. So I just took another pump. So this is three, which I mean, it's really, in my opinion, not too much. I was having a little bit of trouble with some drier areas on my face. In my opinion, they look pretty similar. I'm gonna go over this side with the sponge. I also should have said it has four stars out of five on the Milani website. It's also $14. Um, I got it on sale, so it was like 10, which isn't bad. 14 is still not bad. You get one fluid ounce. Again, very standard. But yeah, this is what we're working with. But I like it. I like how it feels. It's not sticky. It's not really like leaving a residue, so it's settled. Um, I'm gonna put on a few more products, probably not a ton. Um, so. This is the makeup look we have. I used um, a few different things. I was gonna do something a little more natural, but then I really had to bronze up this foundation because it was way too light. When I got into some natural light, it was, I looked like a ghost. <laughs> um, so just probably like one shade off. Um, and as I was doing it, the thing I noticed the most is, I mean, it is doing something crazy to my upper lip. I don't think no matter how close I really get, you can even see it. Um, you could probably see it in person. It just looks like it's not sitting on top of my like upper lip well, which makes no sense because I haven't worn makeup in like a week, at least, almost two probably. Um, and I just like dermaplaned that area and got rid of all the peach fuzz and stuff. So there's nothing for it to be clean to besides the foundation because I didn't even put like a lot of primer right there. Some places it looks really good, other places it does not. Um, this is not my favorite makeup look. Foundation, mm, I don't know how to feel about it because again, it looks really good in some places and like very blah in others. I mean, yeah, who am I kidding? I know where I stand with this. Um, I just feel iffy because like, I know this product, this is gonna kind of be like a BB cream type thing for me. It's gonna be like these two I already have in my collection. It's gonna be, um, a little bit more than the Maybelline Dream BB Pure, like a true, true BB cream. Excuse how gross this one looks. It's gonna be more like the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. Like a little bit more than a BB cream in coverage wise, but it still has like that very natural finish meant to be worn like with very natural makeup in my opinion and how I like to wear makeup. It's okay. I don't really think you need it. Um, I think if it was me, I'm kind of the type of person I want to either be full coverage or I want to be like no makeup natural. This just gives like an itty bitty bit of coverage and I mean it does feel nice on the skin and it did work well with most of the products I put on. Um, it's just not the best. But if you've been looking into trying it, you have like dry skin or like luminous foundations, I think you'll probably like it. Again, it's not the best out there, but it's not bad. So. Yeah, I I just think there's probably better out there. Um, the price is okay. 
I do like it better than the CoverGirl one though. I wouldn't necessarily recommend and say, hey, you need this, go buy this. But if you were like, hey, I'm wanting to try this specific product, what do you think of it? I'd be like, oh, it's pretty good. Um, so that's just how I'm gonna leave it, I think. Um, I was gonna do another wear test, but then I was like, I just sat here and I was like, yeah, I know how I'm gonna use this. Like, this is how it's gonna, this is how it's gonna be. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. Um, let me know if you have any more suggestions. I've really enjoyed talking to all the new viewers down in the comments. Um, everybody's been really nice. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope that your quarantine is still going well and that maybe we'll all get out of here soon. <laughs> um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.